Hello and welcome to this demo. In this demo, we will discuss where you can find Bitnami by VMware solutions to build awesome software anywhere. For the past 15 years, the Bitnami team has delivered prepackaged open source applications through the Bitnami application catalog, which is our name for the catalog available through marketplaces and on bitnami.com. Binami Application Catalog is a free software library for public consumption, easy to use for developers on any platform. Binami Application Catalog stacks are built on only one standardized base OS image, Debian. To check the information associated with each stack, such as image version, dependencies, and components, users must navigate to the marketplaces or public repositories where the solutions are published. These solutions are very popular and are ideal for testing purposes in development environments. There are, however, constraints with trying to deploy any open source software in production or enterprise environments, including those from Binami application catalog. The ownership of open source sometimes is unclear, so when a vulnerability arises, who is the responsible to remediate it? In a perfect world, an organization would be able to maintain its own private repository and fill it with all the open source software it needs. And that repository would be backed by automation that would be consistently pulling the upstream projects and then testing, building, and packaging those applications. Ideally, that engine would also monitor the base OS, even custom ones, for updates and rebuild and upload containers automatically. This, we know, is an enormous effort that a few organizations can afford. This is where VMware Application Catalog comes in. With VMware Application Catalog, development teams can choose from a selection of open source production ready solutions that range from integrated code, development applications, automation tools, caching databases, and login tools, etc. These application building blocks are continuously and automatically updated for every new vulnerability fix, including those for all dependencies. And they are available in the form of containers and charts and virtual machines for enterprise private consumption. Also, this catalog can be custom packaged on any base operating system provided by a customer or on any of the OS images provided by VMware. At last but not least, multiple functional and verification tests are run on the package image, including build-time common vulnerabilities and exposures, CVE, antivirus scanning, and deployment testing on various platforms. All this information is served in a JSON file, along with the extensive metadata about the image, such as a list of components, release dates, digest, and so on. This means that there is no need to monitor external sources anymore. Let's see all these differences in action. To do so, we are going to use the MariaDB Galera Helm chart as an example to show the differences between getting a standard version of the chart from the Binami application catalog and getting a production-ready version of the same chart delivered directly into your private repository through the VMware application catalog. To install a Binami Helm chart in your cluster, you should navigate to the Binami application catalog on binami.com or to the Binami GitHub repository. We have chosen the second option, but either way works fine. Navigate to the Binami GitHub charts repository and search for the MariaDB Galera Helm chart. In the README file, you will find all the information related to the installation of the chart, prerequisites, and the parameters you must set up to configure the deployment. Now we are going to analyze some information related to the chart. First, let's check the dependencies, the version, the digest, and the release date of the chart. All that information is placed in the chart log file. Dependencies, versions, and the source of the chart can also be found in the chart YAML file. To see which is the base OS image that the chart uses, open the values YAML file and scroll down until the image section. As you can see in the tagline, the MariaDB container included in the chart is packaged using a Debian 10 base image. 
Pindami application catalog delivers all its images on this unique distro. It is time to check if there are major changes on the chart or security advisories that users should consider. We can explore the changes implemented in the chart by navigating to the pull request tab. There you will find all the PRs open for the entire Dynami repository. To check only those that affect Maria de Vigalera, you must type Maria de Vigalera in the search box. Then you will see all the modifications sent to the Vietnami team by external and internal developers. You can also see the list of closed, both approved and rejected, pull requests by clicking the closed link. As you can see, there is a huge community contributing to building the Vietnami Charts catalog. In case there has been a security breach in the source code, Binami will publish a security advisory in its documentation page to explain users what versions were affected and how to patch them. When that vulnerability is remediated by the author of the code, Binami will push a new version with all the available fixes to the GitHub repository. Users may then navigate to the GitHub repository or run the Helm list command in their cluster to find the new unpatched version. But if a user wants to check out the vulnerability in detail, the security fixes made in the source code, the systems affected, etc., they will have to search for the CVE or security notice published by the maintainer of the code or to a specialized site such as cve.mitre.org. We are going to explore how the Angular application catalog helps enterprise developers save time in monitoring and updating the software they use to build applications while ensuring that the operations team can fulfill the enterprise's security and compliance policies. First, let's take a walk through the VMware application catalog primary screen and see what a customer catalog will look like. To create a catalog, Binami application catalog users must request the assets they want to include in it. To do so, navigate to Applications, My Request, and click the Add New Application button. The resulting screen shows a form where you can specify the target platform and the base image for the package you want to add to your catalog. VMware application catalog provides Helm charts, containers, and open virtual appliances (OVAs) solutions. Thus, you can select as deployment platform, Kubernetes, or virtual machines. Unlike the Vietnam application catalog, Helm charts and containers can be packaged using either a set of OS images provided by VMware or any base operating system provided by the customer. Then users will be able to pick from a list of more than 150 applications available in multiple formats. We are using MariaDB Galera as an example, so let's search for MariaDB Galera by selecting the format chart. Since this catalog is a private catalog for exclusive consumption, all the applications selected and their updates will be pushed to a registry of your choice. Once the request has been submitted, you will be able to see its status in the My Request tab, and if approved, your applications will be listed in the catalog on the My Applications tab. Search for MariaDB Helm chart and check the information that this catalog provides. At first glimpse, you can see the base image that each chart is using, the release version, the release status, and when the latest version of the application was released. To check the additional information available for this chart, click Details. On top of this screen, you find similar information related to the chart version and base image to the one shown in the list of applications, plus the brand. The brand indicates the regular update that the VMware application catalog team has performed to update the components and packages included in a chart or container image version. These updates are directly pushed to your registry without the need of any manual update. The rest of the content you will find in this page is important information for installing and managing the chart, as well as key data that can be used for security and compliance. First, there are the commands to consume the chart locally. After this section, you can find the release process section, which includes the details about the Helm chart such as the digest, name, version, 
and the URL of the registry where the chart is stored and some important reports. If you remember, to get the basic information about the chart in the GitHub repository, we had to check four different files. Here you have it in just one place. In addition to these details, VMware Application Catalog also provides users with direct access to extensive metadata in their repositories, which eliminates the need to monitor any external sources. For example, validation reports expose detailed results for CVE, antivirus and deployment to platform tests, as well as other functional and verification tests conducted on the image for full transparency and visibility. The build time report serves in a JSON file extensive metadata on how to consume the asset, its diets, its build and release dates, and a complete list of included subcomponents or libraries with license information. Further, this metadata is digitally signed using a co-signatory to protect it from tampering, which adds another layer of security to the catalog. In addition to all this metadata, users can quickly find chart dependencies at the bottom of the page. This chart has two dependencies the MariaDB Galera and the MySQL Server Exporter Container Images. You can navigate to these two containers and check all its details as we did with this chart simply by clicking on any of them. This level of transparency and compliance is next to impossible to achieve using open source software from public repositories. The information provided in public repositories, such as the Dynamic Charts repository, is sufficient for certain use cases, and the time frame needed to update the code when a vulnerability arises can be fine for small sites or development environments. However, organizations need a trusted source in place to consume open source components, relieving developers of the task of manually tracking every dependency and to make sure that application components are always updated, healthy, and patched with the latest vulnerability fixes while guaranteeing internal compliance. Thus, developers can instead focus on their core work of building new business solutions. That brings us to the end of this demo. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to use VMware Application Catalog. You can learn more about VMware Application Catalog by checking the links provided on the screen or contact the team directly at app-catalog at vmware.com. Thank you for watching.